All right, this video lesson is 5A2 over reflections. It is a new type of transformation. Remember, transformation means we are changing something. Last time we talked about translations. This time we're reflecting. Kind of like a mirror. A mirror reflects images. Um, to where if you put this little shape on one side of the mirror, it is going to look like the exact same thing on the other side of the mirror. And do not laugh at my drawing. Um, but it's going to look the exact same way, just flipped, okay? So it doesn't look like I'm drawing the same picture. I'm actually flipping the picture along the axis of symmetry. That is a new vocab word. This is an axis of symmetry. Um, and then we are going to learn how to flip pictures on axis of symmetry on a graph, when a, when a graph has an axis of symmetry. So for instance, something like this picture here. We're just going to I'm just going to show you what it would be like to flip a picture over a line. So remember, we're flipping, which means that right here would be A, and it would be A prime because it's a new A. Um, and then this dot would be down here, and it would be F prime. This dot would be way down here to be E prime, and so on. We would keep going just like that. Remember, it flips, so it doesn't just slide down. That is the reason why B is moved right here. C right here and D way down here, okay? So let's practice on your actual notes of what this looks like in trans transformational geometry. I didn't look. Okay, transformational geometry, remember transformation means that we are changing something and this type of change we're talking about is a reflection where we flip, okay? If you want to remember, there is an FL in reflections that can help you remember that it is a flip. <clears throat> and we flip over this thing called an axis of symmetry. We have two different types of axis of symmetry in the eighth grade. We have an X axis and a Y axis, which we are very familiar with those. Those are our new axis of symmetry. It basically is the line that cuts the picture in half. So if I had a heart, um, a line of ax or axis of symmetry would cut straight through there and make it um, perfectly the same on either side. And just completely flipped. So the first thing says reflect triangle ABC over the X axis. And I said to highlight the axis of symmetry. That's more for me. If you have highlighters, definitely use highlighters. But if you don't, it is okay. <clears throat> it's just helpful to see the line. So if you have, if you just use your pencil to shade this line a little bit darker, that would be great. And we're going to take this picture and flip it over this line. So if we flipped right here, B would stay right there. So I can go ahead and write B prime, just because that's going to be my new, um, my new B. And then if I flipped A over the X axis, my A would be, looks like it's about the negative three. So I bet it's gonna be about the positive three since I'm just flipping. And I'm trying to keep it in the same position, same distance from, so I can, I can tell that this C is kind of like two boxes below. So I'm using kind of like my artist skills to really create this triangle. <clears throat> and now I have flipped the triangle over the X axis. Okay. So flipping a triangle over the x-axis, um, it will change the coordinates somehow, some way. Let's talk about how it changes the coordinates. So if I had the old ABC, let's go ahead and write the coordinates for the old ABC. A was 1, negative 3. B was 3, 0. And C was 4, negative 2. Like that. My new... A is 3, 1. I mean, 1, 3. Sorry, guys. Um, the new B is 3, 0. And the new C is 4, 2. All right, so I was looking above here and finding the coordinates for this line. And now I'm going to look at the coordinates and compare the two. So what I notice is it looks the exact same almost. Well, almost the same, I guess I should say. So the only thing that's different is a couple of these negatives. It looks like B stayed the exact same, which makes sense because if you flip it, B would have stayed the same. Um, but what's different is these numbers here. This three became positive and this two became positive. 
So that tells us something. None of the numbers change to different numbers because we're technically not adding or subtracting um, like we were whenever we were doing translations, but something, ha something is happening and we're getting negatives. So let's write an algebraic representation for what's happening in this picture. Remember, algebraic representations are the rules um, and we write it in like an algebraic sentence, basically telling a story. So what happens um, in translations, remember that was, last, that was the last lesson we had. Uh, we had x plus something or y plus something telling us that we moved a certain way. But reflections, we flip it. And how the numbers changed was these y's, um, they took off a negative. Okay, so I bet this one would have taken off a negative if zero would have been a number that you could give negative to. But negative zero is not a thing. Um, zero is neither positive or negative. Okay, so here for my rule, I'm going to write it this way. I'm going to say x stays the same because they did. And I'm going to say y um, is negative y. Basically saying it's the opposite version of whatever you have. So right now we have negative 3. Well, the opposite of that is positive 3. Right now we have 0. Opposite is still 0. Negative 2. Opposite is 2. All right, so let's look at another example over here, and let's see how it's different. <clears throat> this one says we're reflecting over the y-axis this time, so I'm going to highlight the y-axis. And then I'm going to try to draw this. See, it's the same triangle. It's just going to flip over a different line. This one flipped over the x-axis. This one flips over the y-axis. I'm going to draw a new line. So A would be over here, exactly one little box away from the y-axis. I have to keep the same distances. Um, B would be over here. I'll put B prime. And then C looks like we'll, it will be over here. And of course, connect my dots. Did I make the same? Yep. Okay. Um, so I made the same triangle, just flipped over the y-axis. See how they look different? Um, this one flipped up, and this one flipped. Oh, I guess I should do it this way. I don't know how to do it. My hands. Like that. There we go. Um, okay, so right here, this is geometry telling you a story that triangle ABC changed to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime, saying that A, B, and C are new. Same triangle, just something happened to it. Let's look at the coordinates of this one. So I'm going to cheat, and since this was the same triangle, I'm just going to rewrite these coordinates here instead of having to refine them over and over because it was the exact same coordinates. Okay, so I got the same, I got the coordinates for ABC. Now let's figure out how our new triangle is different. So A prime is negative 1, negative 3. B prime is negative 3, 0. And C prime is negative 4, negative 2. All right, so I have a lot of negatives this time, uh, which makes sense because it's in this quadrant here. <clears throat> the numbers stayed the same, but what I do notice that's different is this 1 became a negative 1. This 3 became a negative 3. This 4 became a negative 4, which means it's the opposite. If it was positive, now it's negative, it's the opposite. Kind of like what happened here. These were negative and then became positive. So I bet the same stuff is going to happen um, just on our algebraic representation for the y-axis flip. So our algebraic representation is going to start with a coordinate. It's going to say we have a regular coordinate, x, y, and it's going to change to something new. The way it changes on this one is it gets a negative x and the y stays the same. So at the bottom... We basically are concluding our notes. It says, if a line reflects over the x-axis, the rule is always going to be the thing that we have wrote right above. x, negative, y. Which is saying that no matter where or what your shape looks like, if you flip the shape over the x-axis, the coordinates will change to make the y a negative, or if it was a negative, make it a positive. It's the opposite. Um, let's talk about why that is that way just for a second. Notice that this triangle down here had x's here. Both of these will share the same x's since they're in the same spot next to the x-axis. And on the y-axis, the values for the y's 
were negative down here. When it flipped, it went to the positive side of the y, which is the opposite side of the y-axis. That is why the y becomes negative. Same thing is going to happen here when you flip um, from the x values were positive, the y values were negative. When you flip, the y values for this triangle are going to stay the same because you're using the same part of the y-axis. You're now using the negative part of the x-axis, which is why the x changes. If you can just memorize these two things for x-axis and y-axis, you'll be good to go. Um, so let's talk about the y-axis again. It looks like xy changes to negative x and y. Um, so if you want to memorize it, uh, you have a y-axis reflection, the x gets a negative. When you have an x-axis reflection, the y gets a negative. And that is how you do reflections.